My support of, of Donald Trump is unwavering. I would take a bullet for the man, seriously. And a lot of us would. And we're going to even if they wouldn't put him on the ballot, we'd write him in. This is a guy at a Donald Trump rally. Took place, I think, April twenty seventh, twenty twenty three, or late April, anyways. In um, you know, in twenty twenty three, Trump seems to be turning into what is effectively a messiah at this point. And as disturbing as that is, it is deeply entertaining to watch. I wanted to listen to a few people's reactions or interviews that they gave about Donald Trump at one of his rallies. Keep listening to this, dude. He had more to say. Oh, and uh, one more quick note. This guy on the left, the guy that's interviewing him, I don't know if you guys knew this. It comes up later, but he's dating Marjorie Taylor Greene right now. Really, he's dating Marjorie Taylor Greene. Who looks at Marjorie Taylor Greene and says to themselves, yeah, yeah, I like that. I think I'll have some of that disturbing man <laughs> i can't i cannot quick cutaway we'll get back to it in a second just quick reminder the youtube algorithm operates off of a few factors it pushes a video further if you watch it to the very end if you like the video and if you subscribe if possible i would appreciate it if you guys watched my videos to the very end at least if you start one make it to the end all right sorry for the interjection let's continue anyway listen to this poor fool interview this guy on the right i think it's very important to, su to support donald trump uh, uh, if not our nation goes down i believe he was sent by god to preserve abraham lincoln's promise that a, that a government of the people and by the people and for the people will not perish but i think it's rather ironic because i remember probably nobody else knows this this armory in 1976 i was here when i was in high school and this, here's, this is where Ronald Reagan gave his speech announcing that he was primarying President Ford. Interesting. So rather interesting that now Donald Trump is back the, time, the timing of all of this. My God, dude, they'll find patterns in anything. You catch that, though, in the beginning? He's a messiah. They believe him to be the chosen one, the messiah, the one who will bring about the end, God's chosen person. That is unhinged from reality, straight up. And you want to know what else is unhinged from reality? The fact that we're getting an ad. If you're listening and not watching, you won't, you won't be able to see this. But there's an ad on this video. The Kid's Guide to Donald Trump. Learn Trump's achievements and vision for the USA. Plus two bonus gifts. The Kid's Guide to Donald Trump. Now, who are the groomers here exactly? These people are very obviously trying to groom children politically into a political ideology. It couldn't be clearer, right? And they're complaining about the left indoctrinating children into the leftist, wokest, blah, 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 whatever. Absurd. I actually tried to get my hands on this kid's guide to Donald Trump or whatever. Unfortunately, it's not easy to get unless you want to be scammed. So it's very obviously a scam. There's no clear, obvious way of canceling this thing and it's a subscription service you must subscribe monthly to get this kid's guide to donald trump it was endorsed by mike huckabee originally but it's not actually a mike huckabee production he's just he was just paid to be a spokesman for it basically you it they say it's free you receive this for free and two other bonus gifts but you have to pay a dollar for shipping and handling See, in the corner of the ad, you can read, just pay shipping and processing with this offer. See website for details. It's like a dollar, or it was when I was trying to get it. And uh, unfortunately, after that, they charge your card the following month to continue pulling money from your bank account. Most people probably don't even realize that. Most people getting this are probably in their 60s, 70s, or 80s, don't e aren't even aware of what's happening that their bank account is being drained by this company every month. That's how the grift works. And again, no obvious, simple way to cancel. So I set up a privacy.com account to try to get a copy of it. You know, set up a thing where you can do a virtual card and only allow this amount to be withdrawn from it. They wouldn't allow it. You can't use privacy.com apparently or virtual cards. I even got a gift card, like a, you know, like an Amazon spend anywhere visa card or whatever for 50 bucks try to use that won't let you can't do it apparently you have to use a real bank account or it simply won't work so yeah kind of disappointed in that i'd love to get my hands on it but anyways yeah listen to this dude april 27 2023 again same trump rally 
This guy is apparently an atheist at a Trump rally, okay? If I'm open and honest, I'm an atheist, but uh, I align more closely with a Christian conservative worldview, and so- How? How, do, how does this happen? I don't understand. I am so lost. Dude is an atheist, but aligns with a Christian conservative worldview. What? Conservative worldview, and so uh, I pretty much support Christian conservatism, that whole, that whole moral compass, and so that's what I stand for. Well, here's the thing. The Bible doesn't provide a moral compass. The Bible espouses a different position on every single moral issue. Come up with any moral issue, and you can find a Bible verse to defend that position. Seriously, you are in favor of gay marriage? Do not judge or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the same measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at a speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? And what did Jesus say about being gay? Let's just look to Jesus, right? Look to his advice to figure out how people should feel about the LGBT community. Oh, he didn't say a thing about it. Interesting, right? There are plenty of verses to back up the idea that being gay is not wrong, or you should at the very least let people live their own lives and have their own relationship with God at the very least. And then there are verses, like say the Old Testament, that talk about it being an abomination before God and all this other stuff. What about marriage? Is it one man, one woman? Or is it one man, multiple women? There is a different position espoused for every moral issue in the Bible. So he's not getting his morals from the Bible. He's getting it from nutcases who believe they know what the Bible has to say about morality, even though they're apparently completely ignoring entire swaths of it. Look at some of these other people at this rally. Check out this couple. I think one's from Florida, one's from Tennessee, I think. Listen to this. I was born to ride for 45 is here. We came, I came from Florida, 60th Trump event. We love Trump a lot. Of wow, 60th Trump event, dude. Who goes to 60 Trump events? Who goes to 60 events of any sort? I'm probably the biggest Tool fan alive. I love that band to death, dude. I am a massive Tool fan. My favorite band ever. And yeah, and I'd argue that I'm probably one of their biggest fans. You know how many Tool concerts I've been to? A few, two or three. Of course, COVID hit, so I was being careful about going out. I may have gone to more if they were in my area, but 60? I haven't been to 60 Tool concerts. This isn't just like a fandom. Like the guy said in the beginning, they believe he's the Messiah. It's not a fandom. It's a personality. It's a religion for all intents and purposes at this point. Trump, a lot of us come across the country to come see the greatest president ever, Donald J. Trump. That's absolutely right. I'm from Tennessee. Got here last night, flew in. Now, when you guys got here, was there anybody else in line? Or? Oh, yeah, they set up the tent over here and stuff. Well, let's go. Yesterday. Yeah, four o'clock yesterday. Let's go in here real quickly. We heard you guys were here at four o'clock yesterday setting up a, t a tent. Where are you from? Where are you from, my man? I'm from New York City, the Bronx. The Bronx came all the way down here for President Trump. Of course. Wow, dude. This guy's from the Bronx. He's wearing a star spangled banner like sweater, apparently. This is crazy. He's got a MAGA hat on. He's got a huge ZZ top beard if you're listening and not watching. This is nuts, dude. And uh, the Bronx, interesting. There are a lot of parts of New York City that aren't even really New York City. Like Staten Island isn't really, I mean, it's part of New York City, technically. It's, you know, within city limits. So is the Bronx, so is Queens and Brooklyn, the other boroughs. But they're not really city. I mean, they have subway lines that go to them, but I don't know, there's just, it's very different. They're just suburbs. It's no different than like any other little suburban area with, you know, unplanned sprawl all throughout it. Manhattan is where the city really is. And that's where all of the prices start shooting through the roof. I mean, there are a lot of really expensive places and really beautiful places in Brooklyn and Queens and the Bronx and Staten Island also and out uh, further on Long Island. But you know, Manhattan is really where New York City is. That's really New York City. That's what people in the area call the city.
he says he's from the Bronx. I'd be willing to bet he's probably from the northern part, just barely in the area. Homes are normal prices in the northern part of the Bronx. They're not absolutely absurdly priced. I mean, you can just buy a house in the Bronx, and it's really not that bad. So, City of the Bronx. The Bronx came all the way down here for President Trump. Of course. I shot of his head. I thought it was President Trump's signature. May okay, now remember, as we watch this, this guy, that the, the reporter guy or whatever you call him, is dating Marjorie Taylor Greene, okay? Shot of his head. I thought it was President Trump's signature. May I just for a second? Sure. The great MTG signed his hat there. You got to love that. I love Marjorie Taylor Greene. I hope she's vice president. He says, I love Marjorie Taylor Greene. Marjorie Taylor Greene. I hope she's vice president one day. I, I really do. I love her. That makes two of us. All right. Oh, God, dude. Is this the first time this guy said he loved her? That's fascinating, right? Wow. Their relationship. How can you honestly? I personally thought that Marjorie Taylor Greene had a personality that only a mother could love. Apparently, a mother and this poor fool also. Surprising. Absolutely blows me away. <laughs> How did this happen? I don't understand. Crazy. Oh, I love her. That makes two of us. All right. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Okay, so <laughs> let's keep. Uh, Let's keep listening here. Uh, this one is an interview with, I don't know, some guy who claims to be Mr. America or something like that. He's got a MAGA hat on with a flag on the side. He's got the red, white, and blue outfit with the stars and everything. He's all decked out here, okay? So what's your plans? You're the, you're, you're the youngest one right now in Connecticut. Uh, where do you see yourself in 10 years from now? What? Oh, he's from Connecticut. Interesting. That That's really not that far from New York City. It's... A very short train ride, like a 20 minute train ride from uh, New York City to Here's some now. Well, I got inspired by a man you know quite well. His name's Donald Trump. Um, and my goal someday is to get higher up in politics. I don't really know where that's going to lead me, but I keep the same principles that he has never give up, never give in, never back down. And as a young conservative, I take it. Does Donald Trump stand for the principles of never give up, never back down, never give in? Okay. I thought the saying was never give up, never surrender or something like that. It, but I guess that one's from like Bear Grylls, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Never give up, never give in, never back down. And as a young conservative, I've taken a lot of heat, especially in school. I've been called all the labels, racist, sexist. Huh. I wonder why that is. Why do you think people call you racist and sexist? Do you think maybe it's because you're racist and sexist or because you act that way? Really, is it not penetrating his thick skull that, like, his actions have consequences? That maybe he's being called these things and ostracized for a reason? No, apparently it's just not getting through to him. Sexist. I've been yelled at by teachers because I stood for the Pledge of Allegiance when no one else would. Mm, I bet. Totally. You just wanted to say the Pledge of Allegiance and nobody else would say it. Because they hate America. So you're the only guy to stand up for America and say the Pledge of Allegiance in front of everybody. And you got hated and ostracized for it. This poor fella, huh? So persecuted. He is so persecuted. Poor, innocent Americans who just so happen to be racist and sexist and bigoted and hateful, you know. But they're just trying to love America. They're trying to... Pleasure America the way a young boy should, okay? So I've kind of learned that, especially in Connecticut, which is a quite liberal state, you got to stand for what you believe in. So I'd like to maybe move up and run for office when I'm done pursuing my education, you know, get that degree under your belt, and hopefully... Ooh, that's not very popular. That's not a popular position. Get educated in Trump circles? Seriously, I mean, I'm not joking or being facetious. They are very anti-education in conservative circles. Um, Hitler did the exact same thing for the exact same reasons. A, a more educated population is more likely to lean left, to vote against fascist ideals. And uh, naturally, fascism has to fight education as a result. You think I'm joking or, or being facetious? I'm not. Let me prove it. This is a film from the 1940s, immediately after World War II ended, called don't be a sucker. And it was produced in an effort to draw attention to how Hitler did what he did. How did he manage to 
get people to a position where they'd be willing to do the horrific stuff that the that the Nazis did in World War II. It's a fascinating movie, and I break it all down on my main channel if you guys want to, like, see a full breakdown of the entire thing beginning to end. The title of the video is Everybody Should See This. The thumbnail says, holy frick, this 1942 Nazi film is bonkers, basically. If you want to see the video, the whole thing beginning to end, it's on my main channel. Just search under that. But listen to the description given about the Nazi party in the 1940s, immediately after World War II ended. These men had won their struggle for power. They now ruled all of Germany. But still they had trouble with their oldest and most persistent enemy, the truth. They found that truth does not die easily. And so they decided to abolish truth. One great source of truth is literature. So they burned books, 20 million of them. Many great men in Germany who were spokesmen for truth were jailed or driven from their country. Teachers, writers, scientists. Education was discouraged. In five years, college attendance dropped 53%. I mean, I, God, I could watch this whole movie. I love this movie to death, but this film is, again, 22, 23 minutes long. It's so good, but yeah, just check it out on my main channel. The point is that education is heavily discouraged within right-wing circles. Always has been. You know, Hitler was a right-wing extremist. He had right-wing ideologies. He came in under the auspices of a left-wing ideology and eventually took a hard right turn abolished socialist movements, abolished trade unions, anybody that he thought might be a challenge to his power, he snuffed them out, up to and including educational institutions, institutions of higher learning. Matter of fact, since we're talking about it, wow, I forgot I even had this clip, but Tucker Carlson was talking, you know, a disgraced Fox host, ex-Fox host, if you will. He was talking to this kid, Daniel Schmidt is talking to him about higher education. This is from late July 2022. Listen to this. Advice to young people, particularly young men, is just dive face first into it. Like drop out of college. College is ridiculous unless you're moving towards some very specialized degree that you can only get in college if you want to be a veterinarian or a physicist or something. But if you're in humanities, you know, I can give you a list of 100 books. You can find it on the Internet and you'll be better educated than you would be at whatever stupid college you go to. A. B, get married. So he goes on. Yeah, the point is they've always discouraged college education. The, the right wing in the U.S. discourages college education, and so did Hitler. So I'm honestly surprised to hear this kid talking about college education. For office when I'm done pursuing my education, you know, get that degree under your belt. He's definitely breaking some rules in the, uh, in the ideology. And hopefully maybe one day run for a national office. That's, That's what you got to do. I love it. Well, let's just give a good shout out on his outfit here. I love the uh, red pants. I just got the new pin, right? Yeah, yeah. And you got this good tie here. Yeah. Got to love the tribe, Trump. You got to dress right when you're going to see Mr. America, right? You, you have to draw, you dress. dress. Dude, who declared Donald Trump Mr. America? That is absurd on so many levels. I don't know where to start. Wow. Okay. There were some advertisements happening at this uh, event, at this Trump rally, too, fascinatingly. Listen to one of the advertisements that went on at this event. Spike protein is the toxic substance that attaches to your cells to allow mRNA to enter. Worse, both COVID and the vaccine function by using spike proteins to attach to your cells. Many oh, my God, dude. They're propagandizing even in the advertisements. Spike protein is not, what was, how did she describe it again? Hang on. Spike protein is the toxic substance that attaches to your cells to allow mRNA to enter. What? Okay, no, the spike protein is something that the, uh, the coronavirus has. It's one of the proteins of the coronavirus has, right? I mean, been a while since I've read about this, but I believe it's the protein that the coronavirus has that it uses to enter into cell walls. Is that right? And the mRNA vaccine basically reproduces that spike protein, which in itself is harmless, actually. But once your body sees that this foreign thing, this spike protein, is entering into the cell walls, it starts producing antibodies against it and trying to destroy this spike protein. 
And when the coronavirus shows up using the spike protein to enter cell walls, you've already got antibodies there ready to go to fight it. That's basically what that is. But even in the ads, they're propagandized. This is crazy. God, look at this. Counteract harmful spike protein. You've got to be kidding me, dude. You know what this ad is for? It's for some, what is this? Like some kind of like snake oil or something. Get back to that pre-COVID feeling. You can buy these pills that will counteract harmful spike proteins. Really? This is a joke, dude. This is just disgusting. This is brazenly taking advantage of people's ignorance on this subject. Okay, look, now that we have that little background on spike proteins, keep listening here. Spike protein is the toxic substance that attaches to your cells to- False, it's not toxic. Allow mRNA to enter. Worse, both COVID and the vaccine function by using spike proteins to attach to your cells. Many of us have become overloaded with excess spike protein from our surroundings over the past few years and haven't made- Wait, overloaded with spike protein, what? Overloaded with excess spike protein from our surroundings over the past few years and haven't made the connection between not feeling 100% and spike protein overload. What? Spike protein overload? What the hell is happening right now? I don't understand. And is this guy wearing a Punisher hoodie thing in this image here? Does he realize that the Punisher is owned by Marvel, which is a subsidiary of Disney. He probably doesn't know that, does he? Teen overload. This is a sad reality that we all have to address. Fortunately, there is help. The chief medical board at the wellness company, including Dr. Peter McCullough, the doctor that recommended ivervectin and hydroxychloroquine to President Trump back in 2020. Perfect reason for me not to trust a word out of this guy's mouth. He's the one that suggested ivermectin and hydroxychloroquine to trump this guy seriously this guy should be on a list of most harmful people on planet earth the guy that wanted to add lead to gasoline and paint and this guy they should be right at the top of the list for most harmful living organisms on planet earth so i guess the guy peter mccullough or something like that is selling this snake oil he suggested ivermectin and hydroxychloroquine to Trump, apparently, allegedly, and is now selling snake oil to people, selling some pills to counteract the spike protein. This is so sad, man. This is so deeply sad. It's like that time, I, I tend to go through like Trump extremist like message boards and, you know, telegram channels and QAnon spaces just to see what's going on, right? Kind of keep up with this garbage well this reminds me this scam the you know selling these pills to get rid of the spike protein or whatever other garbage reminds me of this trump bucks scam aka trump checks they're golden checks that people allege are being sent out to or being given to his supporters so here's how the scam works the claim is that donald trump is selling gold checks or gold tickets or or trump bucks take your pick it varies from day to day and you can buy these tickets for a hundred dollars and every five tickets is guaranteed to win a thousand dollars so it's like a lottery and if you buy five tickets you're guaranteed to get a thousand dollars so if you drop five hundred dollars on these golden tickets or these trump checks or whatever trump bucks then it will pay out to you a thousand. You're doubling your money. That's the idea here. So people will take their kid's college fund of $60,000 and buy, you know, thousands of Trump checks or Trump bucks or whatever, expecting to get the money back when in reality, there is no lottery. There is no payoff. And it's not even Trump doing it. They're just taking your money. Although I wouldn't put it past Trump. They even made a convincing or at least semi-convincing advertisement that most people won't fall for, but some will. I mean, how many people listen to these advertisements? A million people or, or over the course of a year? What percentage of those people are going to fall for these tricks? Not zero. If you get even a thousand people, one percent or ten or ten thousand people or hell, even 500 people to fall for it or even a hundred people to fall for it. How much money did you make from that one scam for doing absolutely nothing? 
Listen, this is the advertisement that they put out for these Trump checks. I found this. I don't know when it was made, but I found it September 2022. Are you listening? Pay attention. This is very important. The Trump golden $1,000 bill is something that I made to financially help all Americans, everyone, including you. The bill is amazing, okay? It is golden. And every bill has its very own serial number. It's true. America will be wealthy again, folks. Okay? And every true patriot, even everyone in the QAnon forums, every true patriot must own at least 100 Trump bucks because production, my friends, is like Nancy Pelosi's vocabulary. Very limited. So get your Trump golden $1,000 bill before we run out completely. The TRB system is active starting in September. So you so the TRB, so you're saying that like the payoff system where you buy this right now and you'll get paid off eventually. It'll, you know, you'll be able to turn it in and get the amount that you're owed for whatever. It's going to double in value is what he's saying. Now, it's very obviously not Donald Trump, right? It's a scam. But his audience members, the people that love him to death, fall for it. They believe it. You better get to counting, okay? Get your Trump bucks now and don't waste another day. God bless you. God bless all of your loved ones. And God bless the United States of America. It's sad, man. Honestly, it really is. It's sad. And this, this scam about the spike protein is basically the same thing. These pills do nothing. They, they do nothing for anybody. And they're scamming gullible suckers out of every penny they own. It's sad. It, it is honestly sad and disgusting. This one blew me away, though. I just want to show you an old. This is a throwback. This is from late April 2022. OK, check out what this dude said about Trump at another rally. Politics, just for a second. Best thing about Donald Trump is what? Um, his honesty with the people. Honesty. Donald Trump, his honesty. Right. That's what he's best known for. Totally. I feel, yeah, I think, uh, I think he's just about the most straightforward president we've ever seen. So um, I much know him. where he stands on everything. I, I feel like we all have a good understanding of where he leans, uh, you know, and where he's, I think he supports the people. And I think that's the best part about it. Yeah. You know, he represents. We talking about the same guy. This is absurd on so many levels. Seriously. What is happening right now? Anyway, this is a straight up religion now. I, I, dead serious. This is a religion at this point. If you don't believe me, go to my Telltale Reads YouTube channel and just search up Trump the Messiah. I have a 17 part series reading a book about Donald Trump being the Messiah. And at every Trump rally without fail, we get a guy saying something like this. I think it's very important to, su to support Donald Trump. Uh, uh, if not, our nation goes down. I believe he was sent by God to preserve Abraham Lincoln's promise. Sent by God. Anyway, let me know what you think about it in the comments. I, it's just absurd on every level, man.